This is problem number four. Problem four says find each value of x at which this graph has a horizontal tangent line. So when it wants to know if it has a horizontal tangent line, now that we know derivatives, we can find the derivative and set that equal to zero. Okay? So we have number four. And they give us the function f of x is equal to x. 3x plus 6q. So what we want to do is find when f prime of x is equal to 0. Because they want to know at which value of x the graph has a horizontal tangent line. Because remember that the derivative gives me the slope. In a horizontal tangent line, the slope is going to be 0. Okay? So to find the derivative of this, I, used to, I have to use product rule and chain rule. Okay. So f prime of x, we're going to say that this is f and this is g. So I do mine as f times g prime plus g times f prime. Remember, because it's addition, we can do it either way. Okay. So what I'm going to have is f prime of x is equal to f, which is x, times g prime, which I have to use the chain rule. So I bring down my exponent, I keep my inside, I subtract 1 from my exponent, and then I multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay? Now I add g, which is 3x plus 6 cubed times f prime of x, which is just 1. Okay? So now I simplify, so f prime of x <coughs> is going to be equal to 9x, my 2 3 here is 9, times 3x plus 6 squared plus 3x plus 6 cubed, okay? And I want to set this equal to 0. So now all I have to do is solve for x. So I see that there's a 3x plus 6 in both terms. So I'm going to factor that out to the smallest exponent. So I'm going to factor out the squared. So I'll have f prime of x equals, I factor out this, 3x plus 6 squared. And what I have left is 9x plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. So now I can set both terms equal to 0 separately. So I'll have 3x plus 6 squared equals 0. And then I can combine these two. So I'll have 12x plus 6 equals 0. So here I have 12x equals negative 6. x equals negative 1 half. So there's one answer. And then when I solve this one, I have 3x plus 6. 3x equals negative 6, x equals negative 2. So those will be your answer, and that is choice B. Okay, so let's review. They are asking us to find the x value at which it has a horizontal tangent line. So we take the derivative, and we set it equal to 0. For example, if I had a parabola, the horizontal tangent line, the slope, is equal to zero. And remember that the derivative gives us the slope. So f prime of x equals slope equals zero gives me a horizontal tangent line. Sorry, let's just remember the line touches at one spot. Okay? So in order to find the derivative of this, I have to use product and chain rule. So this is my product rule. So I first times derivative of the second. This is where chain rule comes in. Okay. So I brought down my exponent by 3. I kept my inside the same. I subtracted 1 from my exponent and got squared. And then I multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which was 3. Then I added g and multiplied times the derivative of f, which was just 1. And now I simplify my derivative. And then I set it equal to 0. I factored out a 3x plus 6 squared because that term was in 
both, and I factored out the ones with the lowest exponent. Then I set both pieces equal to zero, and I solve for x. So this is number four.